the first climb is a uh, single track, straight uphill basically. And then it kind of levels out and you get to this really beautiful expansive view. There's a lot of these on this hike. We weren't doing much running last time. We were all pretty amateur, wearing big thick boots. My old Timberlands, that wasn't doing me any favors. I hobbled off this mountain, feeling like someone had taken a baseball bat to my knees. And Misty and Sequoia weren't in much better shape than that, honestly. We wouldn't even walk into a taco shop. We decided to get a drive through because we could all three barely walk. So I'm hoping for a much more pleasant experience this time. Although the last time we did it, it took us about four and a half hours with Will. We're hoping to shave some serious time off that today too. We've both been running for over a year now. I've got a trail marathon under my belt and uh, Misty's done a trail race also in Poway. So the training is paying off and this is a lot easier. And people actually refer to this as the most difficult or toughest, hardest hike in San Diego. I kind of have to beg to differ because one, it's not in the city of San Diego, it's in Lakeside. And if we are talking about county of San Diego, there's much more difficult stuff to do out in Anza Borrego Desert. Um, but I'm not trying to throw shade. This is a legit hike. It's super steep, it's uphill both ways. Lots of vertical gain. A lot of loose rock, slippery. So it is super hard, but if you're in reasonably good shape, it's not quite the backbreaker that people describe it as. We are about a little over three miles in, and this is really steep shit, and it has gotten hot. It's like 10 in the morning, but there's no shade anywhere on this trail. It's totally exposed. forgotten how steep some of these sections are. It's uh, very steep and loose in places with pretty unsure footing, but it's rained recently, so the trail is actually pretty nice today. Sometimes it kind of feels like an ice rink out here. So we're 
on our way back down from the summit, I didn't really get a chance to record any audio up there because there were a lot of people and not a lot of inside voices being used. So anyway, at least you got to see the view. It's really beautiful up there. Um, nice 360 degree panorama. You can see a lot of San Diego County from up there. It's much better marked than it used to be. It used to be really difficult to stay on trail up in this section of the trail towards the last like half mile of the, of the hike to the summit. And now they have these handy trail markers. So it's super easy to see where you're going. So this is what's tough about El Cajon Mountain. We're on the descent, headed down from the top of the mountain back to the car. And we're on a super steep grade going uphill. And the descent has a bunch of these. So that's why people say that it is uphill both ways. Cause you do a lot of climbing each way and a lot of descending each way. And a lot of it is very, very technical, so just makes it more difficult. Mm -hmm. 